What's good, G2? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. Yes, man, we are back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for your boy. Please press that subscribe button if you are new to my channel. And turn on the post notifications bells so you can be notified every time I post a new video. Now, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, I will be making the 6'5 Sharp Shooting Facilitator build. Now, y'all know this build was dominant on 2k20 it was in steezo's video i mean i'm telling you man this build was overpowered last year in 2k21 current gen that's what i've been hearing so you know i thought why not create it on next gen because you know i haven't seen anybody really create this build on next gen so you know i want to try to be the first now the first thing you're gonna want to do is put the driving layup at a 60 but it might change as the video goes on but i'm not gonna change the driving i'm gonna leave that at an 80. you know you put the shooting at the high 80s high 90s high 80s low 90s max out the three-pointer don't never put the three-pointer lower than it's supposed to be always max out your three-pointer on all your bids if you want it to shoot now for the playmaking you know, I put it at 80, 80, 85, 85 for the pass accuracy so you can get a gold bullet passer. Now, I did max out most of the physicals. I did put a 70 vertical. I think it might have to be like a 75 in order to get like the good dunk packages. But if so, 70 can do you just well too. But I did put the stamina at a 90. So, you know, that isn't too bad. But you see, as it is, I'm changing the stats. So I put like the mid range shot was like a 90. So I did, oh, it's still, a 90, it's still a 90 right now. But I might lower it depending on how I feel about this build. But you see, I put the steal up to a 78 so he can get gold interceptor. Now I am changing a few things around. So bear with me right now. So I did keep the stamina at a 92. So you see the free throws right now. It's a 70. Now, you know, you can change. You can lower it, raise it. The free throw don't really matter. I mean, you can make a free throw with really like a 60 free throw. It's not going to really be that bad as long as you time it correctly. I mean, it's just a free throw, man. Come on now. That's if you get fouled. I mean, if you don't want to get fouled, get the ball to the best free throw shooter on your team if you want that to happen. If you can't really make free throws. Because I do remember I made my build that's on my channel my glitch six seven two eight playmaker i made that build with no free throw and i regretted it because every time i went to the free throw line i couldn't do nothing so always make your build with free throws right now you see the badge count for this build is 15 33 25 and 11. now as you can see i'm still changing some stats around you know making sure it's the best way possible before you can do everything on it now as you can see i'm to the takeover page now for this build it can really don't matter what takeover you get me personally i would go at limitless range because i know limitless range is crack in 2k whenever you get the takeover you can pull that thing from anywhere and the second one i chose was spotter precision now you see this build title does come out two sharp shooting facilitator compared to tyler harold norman power pete maravich now before it had compared me to ray allen i ain't gonna lie now nah, ray allen was a shooter Pulling that thing from anywhere. Y'all know Ray Allen was a shooter. I think he's the top three shooter all the time ever. Like, come on now. So this build will be able to pull. Now it all depends on you and how you want to use this build. Because, hey man, I know some people that get this build, man. They pulling that thing from deep. I mean, they pulling it from Narnia range. I don't even care. Now, these are all the badge combinations you will get. Or you could, I mean, the badge count really varies on you. But this is the badge layout i would give him even though it's not really my plus like this is the badge layout i would give this player you see he does get hall of fame catch and shoot hall of fame circus three circus threes is a crazy badge in this game if you know how to use circus threes properly now i did put the sniper on silver because for me sniper works best on silver sniper don't work the best on hall of fame for me I don't know why with 2K, but y'all know in 2K, sometimes silver badges work better than Hall of Fame badges. Now, on this build, you're not going to really be able to dribble like that. I mean, you can dribble if you can really, like, combo up like that, but I really don't recommend dribbling on this build. I mean, this build is really just to, like, really be, like, a spot-up build if you want it to be. Now, for the defense, now, the defense is all right on this build. 
because I want to get a sharp shooter and facilitate a name and not be a two way three point shot credit like everybody else like every other title if you want to be different this is the build for you i recommend making it but if you don't want to build that's not that bad on defense hey i don't recommend making this build but hey man it's all personal purpose at the end but yeah man don't forget to like comment subscribe if you are new to my channel and i'm out peace